So we back with another video and today we're gonna be going over and ranking pretty much every single finishing badge in NBA 2K23. Today I was supposed to be giving you guys the best badge setup for NBA 2K23 all builds. If you guys do want that, like the video. I still could try to give it to y'all today, but I need the thumbnail. So that's really all I'm waiting on is ready to drop, but I just need the thumbnail. But Today we're going to be going and ranking every single finishing badge. There's been a lot of comments on my badge video, so I'm going to try to do my best to correct some things that I might have said wrong. Um, I'm going to do my best to just give y'all the best badges in the game. So yeah, we got the same tiers, broken, top tier, usable, not enough badge points, and don't use it. We got the 16. Now, there was one missing for the whole thing it was only 63 out of 64 it was off ball pass we will try our best to get that for the finishing if you guys want me to do this for all the categories shooting playmaking and defensive just like the video it's pretty much that simple let's hop into it so when it comes to these tiers we already said we got the same ones broken top tier usable not enough badge points but I want y'all to understand how this stuff works. So a lot of people had a big issue with like a badge like Pro Touch. The only thing I'm saying about Pro Touch, it's a good badge this year, especially this year when they actually give you an incentive. It's just like when it take, comes to taking your meter off. They gave you an incentive to take your meter off. Now they have an incentive to put your layup timing on when you put that alongside Pro Touch, it does a significant boost. But at the same time, a lot of people are still playing without their, you know what I'm saying? layup meter on because why do that when you know what i'm saying it's still gonna go in a lot but there is an incentive if you're good at timing it i would say for the people that are good at timing it i can see it being top tier but i'm saying it's usable this time just to not piss y'all off to be honest i personally can see it as a don't use because majority of people don't have layup timing going so if you don't have layup timing going don't use it but due to the fact that it has a lot of benefits this year, and I feel like people are gonna move towards using it eventually for sure, just like with 2K20 with the shot meter being off, I feel like it's usable. It should be top tier, but a lot of people, until people, it really gets that wave, I think it only can go usable for now. Acrobat, now, Acrobat, again, I would probably say Acrobat is usable, but I'm gonna put it top tier because I feel like more people should use it. Now. I could say the same thing with Pro Touch, but why do I think Acrobat? It has benefits in this that's really overpowered. Now, one, layups are really good this year. Layups are really good. But there's another thing. There's a, This is going to allow you to pretty much get around defenders a lot easier when you do an acrobatic type layup. So say, for instance, you try to do a Euro dunk, a uh, spin dunk, or a hop step dunk. Acrobat is going to make it that much easier to get around a defender when doing said animation. So I would say Acrobat is top tier for me, but I'm gonna put it as usable because there are other badges I would probably put above a said Acrobat badge. And this time for these videos, I'm gonna try to rank these in order. I would probably say, I would probably say honestly, Pro Touch is better because you can green really, really high contest with this Pro Touch badge, I'm gonna be honest. But yeah, Aerial Wizard, I feel like I don't have Aerial Wizard on my build. Now I do get bumped a lot. But at the same time, when it comes to catching lobs, I have a big that has this on, and he still gets bumped. Now, there are certain things. Now, bigs, you kind of do need this because if you are a person that uses putback balls, this is putback balls and lob city finisher. So if you want the putback balls part of it, you're going to need area wizard. So off that alone is definitely usable. But if you want to catch lobs, off that alone is usable. So you combine them both. I feel like it kind of has to be a top tier badge for finishing because how important those two things are for a wide variety of builds. So yeah, I'm gonna put it top tier. Back down Punisher is really, really good this year. The only thing I say is a lot of people are trolling their builds. I see a lot of people complain about the paint contest and stuff like that. And a lot of people are also trolling their builds when it comes to strength. So on my build, I have a lot of strength. So a lot of times I go against a lot that don't really have strength. I can just back them down and act like I have post control with no post control. But just because I got strength and I can go like gold or Hall of Fame back down Punisher, I can really brutalize it and use that. So... I feel like Bat Down Punisher is a really good badge. The only thing I say is it's usable. They did nerf post scores. If post scores were still very good, it would be top tier, but they nerfed them heavily when it comes to like the contest. Now, if you're a good post score and you know how to do the moves, 2K added a lot of new stuff for post scores. So for the skilled post scores, yes, that's a thing. 
it's probably top tier but due to the fact it's not a lot of skill post scores most post scores only know how to do a post hook because of how broken they were now that they've kind of nerfed those we're gonna try to see who really are good post scores but even if you're not if you just have strength on your build you can really take advantage of mismatches with just having back down punisher on all right now bully bully is a badge that i when you put this alongside other badges it becomes broken but i'm gonna be honest with you bully does a lot now these badges i'm trying to get y'all to understand these badges are not like they've been in the past now there are certain badges that are good at other tiers but when you get bro these next tiers and next tiers are far better like they've put an emphasis on each tier of the badge this year so like when you're trying to get the best bang for your buck you're trying to watch these people you can't i'm gonna be honest with you you can't trust everything that this year because what works for you may not or what works for them may not work for you so you got to really just try to get your badge tiers as high as possible so i'm gonna just say that now if you feel like you're comfortable with this tier this badge then fine by all means do that but when it comes to a badge like Bully, if you're trying to just throw it on just a bronze, that's not going to be, it's not going to be the same thing at, like, remotely as a Hall of Fame. Like, I got gold, and I've seen, like, a montage of somebody with 95 strength. It's a completely different ball game, I'm going to be honest. I get decent, really, really good animations, but Hall of Fame Bully is very, very overpowered. So, yeah, I just want y'all to understand. I just want y'all to understand. Bully is definitely a broken badge. But from my experience with only gold, I have a build that can get Hall of Fame, but I haven't grinded that too crazy. I'm waiting to grind that. So when that does, maybe I'm, I'm going to be bro broken for me too. But I've seen too many clips of people with broken, with bully, and it's broken. Now, I haven't even went against somebody with bully, and it's been, like, overpowered or anything. Because my strength is really high. But in certain aspects, bully can be very overpowered and just get you wide open. I seen a clip where somebody went to the paint, and he was getting a blow by the whole way to the rim. Clamp breaker. And the bully pretty much, he got double teamed at the rim. He threw both people out the way. That's that's a little OD. I'm going to be honest. That's a little OD. Dream Shake. Um, this is a post scoring badge, but it takes skill. I would say this year is not enough badge points because, again, you don't have to jump. But I would say it's usable because people still jump on this game. You don't really need to jump this year, though. If you didn't know that, then now you know. Drop Stepper, this is still probably a broken badge, I'm going to be honest. I honestly only probably would use this bronze on my build because I don't get bronze. But still really good and easy to do. Even with the post scoring, I feel like post scores does not skill. They're going to just go towards... Drop stepper, so I'm gonna throw that in broken. Fast twitch is very good this year. Um, um my big that doesn't have fast twitch, you can see a significant difference between when he didn't have it and when he does. He goes up way, way faster. Where last year it wasn't as crazy of a difference. This year it, it does a pretty significant difference, especially if you have a really high standing up. So yeah, I would say fast twitch is good. The only thing I say about this year, bro, depending on your dunk rating, you're not getting blocked. You're, you might miss the dunk or two. You might get blocked sometimes. But majority of the time, you're not getting blocked. You're not missing that. You're going to go up strong. Now, I was missing dunks. And I was like, bro, it doesn't feel like I have my animations on. I put my animations on. I didn't miss again. Now, it kind of does depend also as well with your dunk packages. So depending on your dunk packages, your dunk rating, it's a lot of stuff that can go in hand in hand to make fast twitch even more important so if you like didn't go too crazy on your standard dunk didn't go too crazy on your your close shot then yeah you probably do need fast twitch more than others but for certain builds you don't need fast twitch as much so i would probably say it's usable but i'm gonna go top tier because you know what i'm saying i can see big i gotta get a big man some love you know fearless finisher i've been using this a lot more on my build let me just say bro i don't use pro touch i haven't got to the point where i'm using my layup timing if I probably had Pro Touch and Fearless Finisher, I probably would never miss going to the rim. Especially with Long Athlete, bro, I probably would literally never miss going to the rim. Because not only does the man never miss dunks, he doesn't even miss standing dunks. I don't even have a high of a standing dunk. But also, bro, when it comes to the build, like, I put on Fearless Finisher just gold. And he literally barely misses anything. I don't even use Pro Touch yet. I don't use Layup Timing yet. So, like... It's a lot of things that could really be unlocked on the build. So I would say Fearless Finisher is a top tier badge. Because not only is it good for contact layups, but it's like the Relentless Finisher for like layups. So that's not really a badge no more. And if you are a guard, you know that stamina issue takes getting used to. So yeah, I want to say Fearless Finisher is top tier. Now, Giant Slayer. Giant Slayer, in my opinion, 
I would say Giant Slayer. This is a badge that's good for like undersized, but a lot of people this year aren't really going undersized. But if you don't really want to get blocked as well, it's going to be important. But again, a lot of people aren't really experiencing a lot of blocks happening. So is that really the utmost important badge this year? I would say no. I would say it's not enough badge points this year. For me, I see people getting blocked, but I personally don't get blocked without having it on. So I don't really find the need to put it on, but it is a good badge for certain builds. But I just don't see people having the badge points to even put that on this year, to be honest. Masher. Masher is pretty much what it says. If you want to just force your way into the paint, it's pretty much a, the badge that you use if you're going against undersized defenders nine times out of ten. And also if you have if you don't really dunk a lot in the paint and you just go up with a lot of crazy stuff so masher is good i just would say it's usable because like it's, it's just weak like i'm gonna be honest i think masher is also like for close hooks as if post hooks as well if i'm not mistaken if masher is for post hooks it might be broken it might be broken because i feel like a lot of post scores are gonna start going towards masher drop stepper that combo that combo could be broken but no, nah, I'm gonna put it in broken. I'm gonna put it in broken. Post maintenance that's broken. We all know how these post moves. A lot of these post scores are gonna really start trying to do a lot of weak shit with the post moves now that they can't do the post hooks as much. So yeah, you can go with post spin technician. Posterizer is the best badge for like not best, but like the most important badge for a lot of slashers. I don't think it's the best, but yeah, it's the most important. Rise up is up there as well. Let me put this in order. I'll go. This will be the order so far. I probably would even say Rise Up this year is a little bit better than Boaster Riser. But yeah. Let me put. Depending on if this is for post hooks, I probably would put this like this. That would probably be the order for that. Because Bully probably is still the most dominant badge right now. When it comes to these, I would probably say. Yeah, that's probably the order. And then Slittery, Slittery. Bro. <laughs> These, ne these these last four badges somehow are literally by far and away the best badges. Like, they're the best badges. They don't really need a touch. Now, these badges kind of, I mean, I guess these badges don't really need a touch. But, like, they're broken. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's really tough to stop them. Like, you really have to put on said badges that you wouldn't use as a defender to stop those badges. But yeah, Slithery, I would say Slithery since it does so much this year. Not only does it do what it's always done, get your best animation every single time, but now it's, it has fancy footwork inside of it. If you didn't play 2K20, pretty much allows you to get way better gathers when you're doing like hop steps, euros, spin layups, all that type of stuff. Even if you want to do those into dunks and stuff like that. So Slithery is very good for that. And then when it comes to like the fact that you don't get stripped, it's just too much going on to one badge. I would say it's top tier. I don't know if I can go over the badge that really help you get content dunks because at the end of the day, that's what most slashers are trying to do, get content dunks. But due to the fact that it does so much other stuff, I do think it's top tier. Now, Limitless Takeoff. Limitless Takeoff is kind of like the broken badge right now for finishing, in my opinion. You could even argue it's broken because the real thing that's really going on right now with a lot of like the paint contest, the real issue right now is Limitless Takeoff. The fact that people can like literally just go from so much, so further out. So a lot of the bigs, they got to play a little bit higher. So what you can do as a guard or a slasher is take advantage of that and just go right by them and just do a standard dunk so that you can do that. So you can really take advantage of a lot of stuff with limitless takeoff. So I could probably say it's a little broken. You shouldn't be able to go out from as far as you can with this badge. So yeah, it probably does. It probably does need a little bit of a nerf. Not nothing too crazy. Not nothing too crazy. Maybe, maybe you get better block animations on these animations. Maybe you give, next year, they're going to probably have to give, like, bigs, like, a block badge. Like, I know they took Rimper to the out, and they kind of put it in anchor, but they need a badge. They, like, you, they got all these badges to dunk. And then they have a badge, like, Limitless Takeoff, where to do dunks from even further out. So you probably need a badge 2K to give people better animation. Now, one thing I say is, if you, there is a way to cancel out Limitless Takeoff in the game, and that's just to have the highest vertical possible on your build. So, say for instance, instead of going so tall, you want like a 90 vert with crazy defensive stats, then you wouldn't have nowhere near the issue as Limitless Takeoff. But due to a lot of people making a lot taller bigs, Limitless Takeoff is very, very broken right now. I don't know if it's more broken than Bully. Uh, I would say it's at the back of broken. But yeah, it's definitely, definitely one of the more broken badges in the game right now. 
But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys want more of these badge tier lists, pretty much I can go over the shooting, the playmaking, the defensive. The playmaking is gonna be really different. The shooting is gonna be good, it's gonna be kinda similar, but the playmaking is gonna be very different. It's badges like hyperdrive, badges like there's a lot of badges that I gotta pretty much redo a little bit. Now this is just for the patch right now. This is going to be something to change. This is probably going to be the only time I upload these on the main. I'm probably going to eventually start posting these just on the backup. So if y'all haven't already, go subscribe to the main backup. We just hit 7.9. Try to get me to, you know what I'm saying, 8K on the backup. That would be nice. But yeah, that's going to be the end. Like I said, I meant to do the bad setup today. If I didn't drop it today, just like the video and it'll come out as soon as possible. But yeah, I just needed a thumbnail for that. But if it does drop today, I just end up getting the thumbnail. It's just that simple. But yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe. Y'all been going so crazy for me. Yesterday, I finally dropped the build that y'all been asking for. And that should be out now. Um, I really didn't want to drop that build. I don't really like gatekeeping. But at the same time, that build, I don't really want to go against it. Now, I actually did find an even better build. But I'm saving that for a series I'm going to do. That build is crazy. It's able to have a 90 plus three ball, a 90 plus finishing with pretty much the same playmaking. Slight, like a tier less uh, defensive, but pretty much even better physicals. So it's just, it's just that build with way better shooting, but I already can shoot on the build I have, but now I have way better limitless, so I can shoot from even further out if I want to. And it's the same height. So yeah, if you guys do want that series to come as soon as possible, just like the video, subscribe for new turn on notifications, share this video to anybody that will help. Without further ado, man, it's your boy Fitz, and I do the math. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah!